Hello all, I am Dr. Gayatri, an educational therapist. I am the founder of Flourishing Kids and I work with kids having learning difficulties. Today we are going to see how to form goals, smart goals. This video is in continuation to the part 1 video. Do check out the link for the part 1 if you haven't seen it. Smart goals. Let's see what is smart goal. Okay, for an example, if I am saying, I want to increase my bank savings. Is that a correct goal? Yes, yes, it's a goal. But I haven't said how much should I increase or I should increase my bank savings within a year or there is nothing specific in it. So when we are forming goals, it has to follow some criteria that makes a goal a smart. Let's see how we can do that. SMART is an acronym for forming goals. S. S stands for specific. M. Measurable. A. Achievable. R. Relevant. T. Time bound. A specific goal will answer all these questions. What, where, why, when, all these questions would be answered if the goal is specific. Measurable. If the goal is measurable, it would answer the questions like how much, how many, how will I know whether I have accomplished this goal. Achievable. The goal should be achievable. We cannot make goals like which we cannot achieve, right? We want to have long term goals, but always try fixing a short term goal, which is easy for us to achieve. This is what students also has to learn. It has to be achievable. Relevant. Is it relevant for me? Actually, is it the correct person, am I the correct person to do it? Is this the correct time to do that? It has to follow all the criteria to make the goal a relevant goal. Time bound. If you are fixing a goal, always it should be a time bound. We should know like it has to have a specific amount of days, day or hours or specific action, right? It has to be time bound. Then only your goal is smart goal. It has to follow all these five criteria. Now let's see how our goal should not be so that we know how to frame our goals properly. The first example is, I am going to be happier. Yes, it's good, but does that follow the specific criteria? No, it is not saying anything specifically. It's just saying I am going to be happier. So that is not a smart goal. Next one, as I said, I am going to increase my savings. Is it measurable? There is nothing to measure here. We are not saying how much it has to be or anything accordingly. So this is not following our goal, smart goal criteria. I will go on 40 job interviews per month. Is that possible? Achievable? No, it is very, very difficult. I shouldn't fix my goals that way. It is not achievable. The next example, I am a seventh grader and I am planning to see the colleges and get admission now itself. Is it relevant now? No, it is not relevant. So you should not do a goal that way. I will be healthy someday. Is that following our criteria of time bound? No, I am not saying which day or what is it, nothing. So there is no time frame. So this is not a goal. It is not following the criteria. So now let's see how a smart goal should be fixed. Let's see this example here. I will complete all my assignments this year at least one day before they are to avoid rushing through any work. To do this, I will list all my assignments in the order of the due date and do them accordingly. I will spend 30 minutes every Sunday night determining which project needs my attention during the weekend. So this is my smart goal. Now let's see whether it is having all the smart criteria in it. First thing, is it specific? Yes, we are specifically mentioning to complete all assignments one day before they are due. Is it measurable? Yes, we know that there is an assignment deadline so that we can measure it. There is a specific thing to measure the progress. Achievable. Yes, is it achievable? Yes, we know that because we have put the order and there is a schedule for us to complete it. Relevant. Is it relevant? Yes, it is very relevant because we have assignments and we have to complete that also. We need not hurry it at the end time. Time. Is it time bound? Yes, we are specifically saying it one day prior to the assignment's due date. 
and we are also checking it every sunday night so this goal is following all the five criteria specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound this is how a smart goal should be fixed smart goals should be fixed by all students students have to learn this you can start doing this for your small test or assignment or any project works then we can keep expanding this if we start doing smart goals every week you are starting to make smart goals and a short term goal which is achievable and which can be done then you learn how to do a long term goal and definitely you would go for success thank you all